Holly Mark would like to thank you for taking the time to looking at our H2O lightsaber. How many of us have forgotten to remove our stern light or lower our bimini top light, entering a boat lift or a bridge, breaking it, bending it, rendering it useless? No longer need to worry about that. With the H2O lightsaber, we've incorporated a spring right in with the light. Now your bimini light, if you were to hit something, simply will flex out of the way and bounce back. The universal spring that we've made can simply plug into your current light socket in your boat and your current light that you own already plugs into the top here. Common problem with pontoon boats is forgetting that they have their bimini light up. Bimini light's usually a shorter light with a globe on top and a mounting base. Here's another example of the bimini light. Even this one being longer, you still could not make it out of a composite material, hoping it would bend or flex its way out of an obstruction if you're gonna hit it. If a customer forgets to put their bimini light down with a rigid design, this is what's gonna to happen to it. It will be bent and or broken permanently. The H2O lightsaber is designed a bimini light with a spring. The spring allows the light to bend at 360 degrees, 180 degrees, without being broken. This allows this light to run into obstructions and no need to worry about it being broken. All boats are shipped with a stern and a bow light specific to the boat. The stern light comes in different lengths depending how tall the boat is. There's a longer one, and here's a shorter stern light. If installed into the socket, a regular stern light. If something were to be hit, it would break, but this is a rigid design. Without any changes needed to your light and or your boat, simply take the H2O lightsaber, plug it into your existing socket, and then simply plug your light into the H2O lightsaber. Again, no changes required. Now, if you were to hit something with this, it will just simply flex out of the way and bounce back. And if you wonder what will happen at high speed, at 60 miles an hour, it still stays